Hi there, everyone. Michael A. Bryan here from the Oracular School of Astrology with yet another question and answer segment. In this Q&A segment, we're going to dive into topics that practicing astrologers have that have arisen from within their practice. As always, if you want to experience the magic of an Oraculos astrology reading or consultation, then please check out our website because the students who are certified at the Oracular School of Astrology are currently giving readings. So if you want to dive into the magic of Oraculos, then check out our four certified OSA astrologers who are giving readings over at oraculosastrology.com so that you can experience the magic of an Oraculos reading today. Now, without further ado, here's our Q&A segment for today's show. Do enjoy. Um, would you ever interpret um, the nodes at 29 degrees in the 6th and 12th house? Uh, I mean, they were touching something, but if they weren't touch, if they were independent and kind of on their own, would you ever address that? And if you would, what would you say? So the question has to do with interpreting the nodes at the anoretic degree in the 6th and 12th house axis. I don't interpret the nodes of the anoretic degree at all because I think that this notion of the anoretic degree or degree number 29 of any sign of the zodiac being a point of crisis applies to planets that can actually rule houses and it doesn't necessarily apply to the nodes or Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto or Chiron or something to that effect. So I would never interpret the nodes at the 30th degree or at the anoretic degree, which is the final degree of the sign that they're in. The nodes in the 6th and the 12th houses, however, is something that we oftentimes find up in a lot of medical astrology charts. And I'm not really sure. I mean, of course, I'm sure why that is. Those are the houses of sickness, but I'm not necessarily sure why the nodes showing up in those houses should have that strong of an effect because the nodes show up in other houses as well and don't necessarily have that strong of an effect. However, very often in very complicated medical astrology charts that we find, those people are having the north and the south node in the sixth and the twelfth house, respectively, or even reverse. So you can have the north node in the 6th house or the south node in the 6th house, the north node in the 12th house or the south node in the 12th house. And all of those placements seem to pan out as someone having a challenging set of circumstances within their lives in relationship to health and well-being. And I'm not sure why that is. And I'm going to perform a more extensive research about it. But it is an interesting topic that does pique my curiosity. It's very interesting that you said that because that was the chart of a child with autism uh, as an additional like piece of information for a horror question. And so I was like just asking that just based off of, but they also, they have like quite a bit of a diagnosis that's very involved and yeah, so interesting. Awesome. From a medical astrology perspective, the nodes in the 6th and the 12th house are going to be houses that we do want to investigate. And it should be something that we make a note of because of how frequently it seems to come up. And it's not our only consideration, but it definitely is one of the considerations that we have, especially when people have chronic health issues. Good. All right. Do you know that you can now get daily astrological updates by following us on TikTok and Instagram? Follow us at Oraculos Astrology on both TikTok and Instagram to keep your finger on the pulse of the astrology of the day every day.